You love hanging out at baseball parks, don't you? Yes, any baseball park. And, oh, it's about 17 or 18 years ago, I was in the dugout with the Big Hurt, Frank Thomas, at Sox Park. And uh, you'll get a kick out of hearing those, these old White Sox names. Check it out. For bandwagon jumping Cub fans, this is Get to Know Your White Sox. Who are these guys anyway? Frank Thomas here to help us out. All right, Frank, can we go down the list here? Maybe okay. you can uh, add some insight. James Baldwin, uh, the word on him fusses with his hair a lot. Is that true? <laughs> no. He's our loud, obnoxious clubhouse leader. Um, always talking. He's the biggest cheerleader on the bench. Um, he's got that slow depth stair walk off the mound. Uh, it takes him about 20 minutes to get off the mound. Uh, <laughs> He's, he's, he's got his own way of doing things. Okay, all right, that's Baldwin. Uh, Keith Falk, uh, superstitious? Very superstitious. I've never seen a guy work on his changeup more on the mound than anyone ever, but uh, he has such a great great pitch there that uh, no one can seem to figure out. It's a really, really nasty changeup. Uh, very nice guy, um, works very hard, and uh, he should be here for quite a while. You know, if a guy's real superstitious, like, you know, he likes to have the same uh, batting glove or whatever, are, are you the kind of guy who's going to take that glove and toss it in the dumpster? No, not me. Uh, I'm one of those that changes batting gloves every day and bats. Oh, so, uh, really? <laughs> yes, I want a fresh bat every day, and I want a fresh pair of batting gloves every day. It's oh, pretty weird. All right. Well, nobody's going to mess with you. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Let's go down the list here. Okay, Jim Parquet. We have some information here that he is the biggest beer drinker on the club. Not true. No? He would have a little more weight on him if that was true. Oh, yeah, I guess uh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh, a loud, obnoxious young guy. Uh, uh, why? He, yeah. has a, he has a mentality um, to win. I mean, he's, he's definitely, I get one of those guys who, who will speak his mind. Uh, I don't care who you are. Um, but uh, he goes out and plays game and pitches well every week. All right, another L-O, loud, obnoxious. Okay. Uh, Bill Seamus, uh, anything about his shower room habits we should know about? <laughs> Oh, uh, it's his nickname is Billy Bob. I think that's more than enough you should know. Billy Bob. <laughs> yes. All right, we got it. Uh, Mike Saratka. Is it true you guys call him Bob? <laughs> we call him Mike. Uh, just, just, just a crazy lefty. Uh, Mike is one of those. They're all nuts, aren't well, they? Well, you know, Mike's a little Park. different though. Mike is a good, very good pitcher, uh, but he does things his own way. Mm -hmm. um, when it's his day to pitch, it's his day to pitch. So, uh, you know, he's going to control the show on his day to pitch, and everybody knows that. Ray Durham seems very earnest when you see the young man on the field. Is that true? Uh, some days. You know, he, he has a, a split, split personality oh. there. There's Ray, there's Roy. Um, Roy? Roy's his evil twin. Ray's that nice guy. Um, no kidding. But uh, most of the time on the field, you guys see Roy. Uh, he plays very, very hard. He's a destructive player. Okay. All right. Uh, Paul Canerco, true he would be considered the most romantic guy on the club? Oh, yeah. He's starving for attention. He's definitely the ladies' man. Yeah. Uh, he plays his game to get chicks. Romeo. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Got that. Jose Valentin. <laughs> very, very clutch shortstop. Very professional. Uh huh. Uh, not I, loud. Not obnoxious. Not at all. He's mm -hmm. he's the biggest key this season. I feel in the pickup with, mm -hmm. with, along with Herbert Perry. Um, mm -hmm. Jose from day one has brought a new attitude to this team and uh, put more professionalism on the field for us. See, this is what we need. We're getting to know the White Sox now. All right, Maglio Ordonez. Now, uh, what language does he swear in? Um, English. He does. He has fun with that. He's in such a good mood. It appears as though he's so happy all the time, but nobody's that happy. <laughs> that can't possibly he's be a true. Character. He is definitely a comedian. Uh -huh. all he's right. a guy you should have on your show. Maglio oh, Ordonez. Yeah. We'll light it up for you. We'll get that. We'll get him booked on the show. Uh, all right, now. Frank Thomas. Now the word on you is you're a Siegfried and Roy man. <laughs> you never know. I'm not sure what that means. Well, but. I tell people I'm just a Gemini. You never know what you're going to expect that day. Um, I got two or three personalities too. Um, I try to be a happy guy, but some days it just don't work out. No. <laughs> That's me. If you like this video, please hit like, leave us a comment. We want to know what you're thinking and share it with your friends. More fun videos are coming, so subscribe. Sarah and Merciano, weekday mornings from 10 to noon, WLS AM 890.